Skyco Systems is advancing a revolutionary passive approach to air conditioning and refrigeration that can improve the efficiency of today's systems dramatically. It does this by harnessing a renewable resource, the coal of the sky and outer space, and works 24 hours a day. Kiwi's mission is to eliminate unnecessary wastage in commercial buildings through the power of IoT and big data. So we use existing infrastructure, existing outlets in a given building, and we turn them smart. So Citrine is a company that builds the data platform for the physical world. We build machine learning systems for the materials and chemicals industry and for product development organizations to develop new products and materials faster. Entrepreneurship in Silicon Valley. GSEB is extremely important. It gives people the opportunity to see what's going on and even know big problems to be solved. At Spark, we're creating a power plant on a chip, a device that can take any fuel or any source of high-grade heat and convert it into electricity very efficiently and with no moving parts. I got my start in thermionics here at Stanford, and actually our very first explorations into interesting, novel ideas for thermionics were supported by the Global Climate and Energy Project. If we're successful, then Spark Thermionics devices uh, could compete with virtually any engine, any mechanical engine of any kind. Iris PV is making uh, solar panels with perovskite semiconductors stacked on top of silicon. Our goal is to make solar panels that have efficiency close to 30%. GSEP funded the original research we did uh, at Stanford, and uh, Iris PV is a spin out of that research. Uh, Qberg is an energy startup company building safer and longer lasting batteries. And so at Qberg, we're developing a new electrolyte chemistry that's non flammable and ultimately delivers great safety advantages compared to conventional battery technology. GSEP actually sponsored a lot, a lot of the original research that went into the company. And so we've been attending uh, GSEP symposiums for the past several years when I was a PhD student here, presenting our research and poster sessions. They've really been a great support for the research, allowed us to explore a lot of new directions with the battery technology that we couldn't have done otherwise without that kind of continued funding. At Opus 12, we're developing technology to recycle carbon dioxide back into higher value chemicals and fuels that we rely on every day. One of our key innovations is using an industrially relevant reactor design to do the CO2 recycling reaction. As a GSEP student, I got to speak actually at the GSEP symposium, and it was just a great experience in getting to expose others to the technology and work on my own ability to communicate what we were doing in the lab to a broader audience. GSEP has been critically important to creating an ecosystem for uh, renewable energy research at, at Stanford. Things just gotten better and better and, and allowed Stanford to become a, a leader in you know, searching for alternatives to conventional energy.